On our WSAZ investigation, false security, for weeks we have been asking how reliable is the fire hydrant where you live? And we have found plenty of reason to be concerned. Enough that the West Virginia's Public Service Commission issued an order demanding those answers from every water district in the state. Tonight was the deadline for districts to submit that data. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson has a look at what that information revealed. Two fires, not enough water destroying this pizza hut in Danville, and a year later, this house in Charleston. Firefighters saying they were met by hydrants not able to do the job. Have you made contact with the water company and figured out anything of why all these hydrants have no pressure? Our WSAZ investigation into the problem found both of those hydrants were on a water main that firefighters say is just too small to provide the water needed to fight fires. When we took that issue to the company, responsible for those hydrants and more than 11,000 others statewide, West Virginia American Water, the company's president could not give us answers. Do you know which hydrants are on what size mains? Uh, we have pretty good information on that. We're doing some validation. What percentage of these 11,000 hydrants are on a main that's less than six inches? So I actually don't have that information for you right now. My WSAZ investigation prompting the governor and the State Public Service Commission to call for action. The PSC demanding answers from water utilities across the state, putting out this set of questions and requiring inspection records. The deadline to foul, Friday. But as of noon, less than one third of the state's 301 water districts fouled that data. Among those that had not fouled, the state's largest water provider, West Virginia American. I've been sorting through data from the approximately 90 districts that have fouled. And what I found in many cases is concerning. Some takeaways. Most water utilities do not have written maintenance practices. About half have some hydrants on small water mains. That's a story for about one out of every five hydrants in Milton. And while most say they inspect some hydrants each year, less than half provide a proof of those inspections. A Braxton County utility stating in its fouling, it inspects hydrants, quote, as needed and that, quote, no official reports are created. Others turned over records, but the number of hydrants inspected, few. The Putnam PSD saying it inspects 175 hydrants each year, but that equates to just 23% of its total hydrants, meaning each hydrant is only inspected once every four years. I took those takeaways to the House Infrastructure Chairman, Daniel Linville, who says he's concerned. Amelia, this is a small set of data, but going forward, what does this show needs to happen? Two things. Number one, what modifications should be made? What what uh, what does the PSC intend to do uh, with that? What do we need to do uh, uh, in the law? And then secondarily, we're going to have to look at what resources are necessary. Tim, Martina, those answers were due by 5 p.m. this evening. As for West Virginia American Water, its response arrived about 4.30, but it was listed as confidential, meaning we can't see what they fouled. Okay, Curtis, thank you. Now, if you want to know how your neighborhood stacks up, we are going to post many of the answers with Curtis's story on the WSAZ app and WSAZ.com. Lawmakers also tell us they plan to ask their own questions at a meeting next month in Charleston.